What's going on guys? Adam again, back with Atomic Garage, and today guys, today it is Friday afternoon, okay? It is 5.40. I've got a solid hour and a half before there is no more light, and I gotta get to work on the BMW. We gotta finish up the sanding, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I've been doing off camera. Coming up in this video. <clears throat> So guys, here we have it. Been doing quite a bit of work and everything is looking really good. Got it sanded down, smoothed down pretty good. I've already done 120, so I am going to go ahead and keep sanding all the way up to 320 so we can get this thing done, honestly. Got this whole bottom panel down here, sanded down as well. Whole carb completely sanded. Uh, we've gone ahead and bondoed and smoothed that side out. I'm gonna see if I can show a before picture and then an after picture. Looks a little bit better, it's not perfect, but I'm not trying to make this car perfect. I'm gaining experience and I just want a nice layer of paint over the entire car. That's what I'm looking for. So we keep on going here. Of course, my keys, gotta move that. But everything else is looking pretty good. Down there, guys, like honestly, like, I did that like I still have to go over it, sanding spots again kind of blend it in a little bit more but tell me that don't look good like for a rookie for like a beginner doing body work of course bird poop because a bird sees a car being prepped for paint and it's got to just take a poop from you know one of the trees and you know I hate birds for that but anyway got this smoothed down as well still got a little bit more to go don't know if you can really tell Got a couple lines on it that I still need to handle. Everything else looks good. I pulled out the front grill on the car. It's sitting right over here. That grill was a pain, but I need to finish clean that out and get that sanded and ready to go. So we're gonna keep on moving forward with the hood as well. Look at that line, look at that body line. You couldn't, you can't even tell. Like that looks pretty good. Again, this is a beginner and you could see both body lines on it, okay? It's not perfect, but boy, it looks darn good. Like I was block sanding it, I was doing the cross hatches both different directions. I felt pretty proud of myself. So that looks pretty good. And of course, this side didn't need much attention. Just hit a couple spots with primer. Um, hit this spot over here as well. I may hit that with some glazing putty, which I do have, which I also feel like is a ripoff because it's $9 for a thing of glazing putty, spot putty. And yet I'm only gonna use like a couple little dots here or there. But regardless of that, it's looking really good. So without further ado, I'm gonna set you guys up on a time lapse in a minute and we just gonna just rock and roll and knock this bad boy out Oh my goodness, it is now 6.46 and we got the car completely sanded down. Let's take a look at it. Use some of that spot putty, get a couple spots. Uh, wasn't too crazy. Uh, that was pretty light, it's only hit a couple spots there. Got a little chunk right there, but it's still not too bad. Everything is baby butt smooth and that feels good actually guys. You know, a couple little rock chips, little spots here and there. Everything is super soft, so I am happy about that. But as you see, 
and the sky is getting dark it's darker than what the camera is putting on so what we're going to do now is we are going to crank up the compressor once i crank up the compressor we'll blow off the dust of everything and uh, wipe everything down with uh, some wax and grease remover wipe it all back down again one last time uh to dry it make sure it's good prime everything that uh i feel like i need to prime and i think i think that'll be it there's a couple spots that i guess i could spend more more time on but i'm gonna be honest with you guys weather in south carolina right now is actually is pretty new south carolina usually doesn't have a winter this year south carolina is having a winter and it's going through this spring rain shower for like the next two weeks so i'm not trying to rush because i said i wasn't going to rush but i'm kind of rushing because I wanna get the car painted. I really wanna get the car painted. So that's gonna happen. Again, guys, in the comment section below, drop and tell me what you guys think the color choice for the car is gonna be. Don't know if I'm gonna tease it or not. What color would you like it to be? I already got the color, by the way. Just wanna put that out there. But that is gonna be it. So I'm gonna put you guys on a time lapse, blow the car off, and I'm gonna move kinda of fast right now. Well guys, I didn't make it. Look at that, it's dark. So the shed is lit up, uh, not as bright as I would like, but it's not bad. Uh, anyway, so what I have to do now is wipe the car down, and if I can find it, wipe the car down. Once the car is completely wiped down, I'm debating if I wanna hit it with the adhesion promoter on the plastic trim pieces that's gonna be painted to match the car. And from there, I can prime those spots that need to be primed and I will use my phone as a light and from there we will be done for tonight. Man I hate that the short the days have become shorter. You really like pressed against time to get stuff done. But anyway, we're not going to stop. We're going to keep going, keep pressing forward because tomorrow hopefully that car will be a different color. Let's go. All right, Whew. I think I am done. It's only 7.19, I can't remember what time I started, but it's only 7.19. We're finally done, primered everything that I could primer. I think everything is good. So if all goes well, I will wake up tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the day that I can go ahead and start getting everything ready to lay paint. I am extremely nervous and I'm trying not to rush. So until then, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.